Hello everyone and let me show you how to fill online application for US universities. You will need basic information about you, test scores, letter of recommendations, uh, schools or colleges, information, transcripts, resume and statement of purpose. The first step of that is selection of an university. Also don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. You can select universities based on your test scores. Let me search based on GRE scores. These are the universities based on GRE scores. There are all types of universities that you can apply, but you need to apply to that university where you meet the cutoff. So for example, I will show you by filling an application for University of Nevada, Reno. And first I will check if I meet the requirements or not. Just check out everything in the website. You will get all the information about the university, about the requirements, about your uh, if you meet cutoff or not, and everything. You can see the GPA cutoff limit is 3.0 for MS application and for PhD that is 3.25. Similarly for GRE, uh, the cutoff limit is 22, and you have to submit resume, a personal statement, and letter of recommendations as well. So if you meet those cutoff limit, then only you can apply and your application will be valid. So here is the step how to apply. So I start by clicking that. Then apply now. So here you can see you have to sign in. So for that you have to sign up and make a new account for each university. I'll show you just one of that. your first name, your last name, your email address and then you are all set for the application. You can start the application now. I am not a robot. And this has sent a link in my email address. So you just have to click that and then it will take you to the place where uh, you have to create a password and then you can start your new application start a new application now so read all of this read carefully if there is something or some catch about your application sorry it is not showing the options but enrollment status degree seeking uh, international student for civil engineering uh, and earthquake structure engineering and master's degree and first time graduate student at UNR and applying for fall 2021 so these are the thing you have to fill and then there comes the basic information about you your name your first name your last name and then your date of birth your gender you have to fill this so you can see how I'm filling the application. You can do the same as well. So country, birth address is country Nepal, uh, city Magdi. So social security number, we don't have one, so we don't need to fill that. And then citizenship of citizenship country is Nepal. Uh, I'm a citizen of Nepal. And then for resident, they have to attach the document for in state application. And then you have to fill the address information. So just let me fill this out. Country Nepal, street address New Road, City Magde. And postal code, you can Google it and you can get postal code of your city. Is your permanent address the same as the mailing address? If that is yes, then click that. Otherwise, you have to give other information. Also, give your telephone or cell phone information as well. I am not a veteran. I am not a dependent or spouse of a veteran, so no. Race or ethnicity Asian. So I am just showing you how to fill an online application. In the emergency contact, you can put your parents' name and parents' address and their uh, contact number and email address as well. 
if you want to give that you can otherwise you can leave it blank save and continue GRE GMAT information yes I gave so and it is asking for the date and it is saying me that I have to provide them the uh, GRE score official GRE score from ETS as well and the code is 4844 for that so this is the date and then TOEFL or IELTS information I gave it TOEFL and then date of uh, TOEFL and then the same thing is the GRE or GMAT score you have to provide official uh, TOEFL score to them and then recommendation request so you have to put like three persons or you have to put a three you have to provide them three letter of recommendations so put the first name last name and title so this is my friend's name so i'm not putting any title but uh, you can put as professors or doctors or engineers or assistant lecturers or lecturers anything so the title that is the title and then the email address and web access means you have you are uh, permitting them to directly send the letter of recommendation similarly you have to fill uh, the same for two other persons as well so they need at least three letter of recommendations and you have to take care that uh, the letter of recommendation part is done by your professor or your uh, advisor or someone because if it is not sent then the application will not be uh, valid it will be voided so just check with them every now and then save and continue no I have not yes I want to be considered for assistance yeah I will be interested in resource assistance and I won't be able to attend without any assistance and that is a no for me so you can do whatever it fits for you in education history you have to at least provide the latest school you have attended and you have graduated so school's name address what level did you study and then date of attendance and date of graduation so that is a no for me you can also add education history if you want to but you have to at least provide one save and continue resume so you have to provide a resume current resume so you have to select a file from your device and upload that and save and continue and then after that you have to provide them statement of purpose upload the statement of purpose and if you provide this then only your application will be complete so if you want to provide anything like unofficial transcript this discourse you can do that here so I would suggest you to provide them as much as you can so read this payment instructions the application fee is non-refundable and you will not be able to change anything after you pay so electronic signature that means you can put your full name in there and save and review the application here you have to check if you have completed everything is needed and the red uh, dot on the left hand side means that is important and that needs to be filled out so check it thoroughly check it one last time and then check with your recommender if they have provided the letter of recommendation from their side and then you can pay or you can pay now and you can wait for them to provide the letter of recommendation and only your application will be considered complete and this application will be considered for both financial aid and uh, for regular admission as well so you can you have to pay 95 dollars you can do that online or you can go to a bank and do that later hope this video is helpful for all of you thank you so much for watching see you in the next one